We are getting close to the holiest, one of the holiest days in the Jewish year, which is Shavuot. We usually think about holiness, about Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah, but really Shavuot, I think, is one of the most important days in the Jewish year. The Gemara in uh, the Mishnah, actually, in Tani says that Shavuot is the wedding day of the Jewish people and the Torah on Har Sinai. And I think from this metaphor, we could learn something very important about our relationship to the Torah and to the Kaddish Baruch Hu. If a person wants to go on a date with a girl, he gets introduced through a shatchan on a, with a girl, he knows that he has to prepare for the date. He can't just show up uh, to the date unprepared. He's got to get dressed, he's got to shower, he's got to have something to say. He's going to meet her father, his, maybe his future father-in-law, and he has to have something to say about the Torah to get to show that really who he is. And I think that that's also part of Shavuot, that we can't really show up on Arab Shavuot ready to accept the Torah without preparing. And the preparation is to have something to say to the Kaddish Baruch Hu. We are about to take his daughter, so to speak, his creation, the Torah, to take it into our home. We should come prepared. We should have something to say to the Kaddish Baruch Hu about our connection to the Torah, about our connection to the Kaddish Baruch Hu himself, so that the relationship starts right. And if we think of the wedding day itself, when you show up, now it's the wedding season throughout the Jewish world after Lag Baomer, there are weddings happening in every community. And when you enter a wedding hall, what usually happens is we look at the different guests that are there and we see that people are happy and joyful. But if you pay attention, you could see that the closer the relatives are to the bride and groom, the happier they are. And I think that's also a clue for us that the way that the amount of joy and happiness that we have towards Shavuot of accepting the Torah tells us our relationship to the Torah and to the Kaddish Baruch Hu. That is, the happier we are, the more joyful we are to receive the Torah, says something about our connection to the Kaddish Baruch Hu. And it is a very interesting litmus test to, find, to give us, to let us know where we are with regard to our relationship to Hashem. The last idea I want to share with you is when you walk into a wedding, which I did recently, I didn't know who the, gr the groom was. The bride is very easy. She's very much identifiable. She's wearing a beautiful white, white dress. She is surrounded by the relatives, by the friends. But the groom is very hard. Everyone is wearing suits. Everyone's wearing nice ties. And you have to look around to try to find him. So I heard in the name of Rabbi Meilich Biederman, he says, you know how you find out who the groom is? It is whoever takes the bride home. And that's really the idea of Shavuos. Yes, okay, we're all ready to go, but you know, how do we know that we really have a connection to the, to the Torah? It, is, it all depends on, at the end of the day, what do you do? Did you come and you stayed up all night and you learned Torah, but then what do you do afterwards? The idea of Shavuos is to take it married to the Torah, to take the Torah with us into our home for the rest of the year. And it's not only a one-day event, but it's something for the rest of the year. On that, with those ideas, I wish that we would all celebrate the real wedding between the Jewish people and the Torah. And I wish you much success in your learning and everything else that you may need.